Yo, what's good with y'all? In today's video, I'm about to show you guys how to make a basic fireball attack. It's very simple. You know, just a little fireball. You press you press a key. For me, it's going to be F key. And then you throw a fireball. And it does damage, of course, if it hits a player. So let's get straight into it. All right, so first things first, of course, you're going to need, you know, a fireball. Like a general fireball that you're going to, you know, duplicate. So here's what mine looks like. Let me put it in the workspace. Okay, right there. So here's what mine looks like. You know, you guys know I'm a scripter. I, I don't do VFX or particles or anything. So it's a basic little fireball. You feel me? It's just a little, just a little part. It's just a um, spear, then I just put fire inside it, and I just changed the color to neon orange. Or changed the color to deep orange and made the material neon. So that's my fireball. So you just want to put that in server storage. You could also put it in replicated storage if you want, but you'd have to change the script. So I would recommend just putting it in server storage. And then, of course, you know you need your fireball sound effect. I got mine I got mine just from the toolbox. I made this myself, but of course, I got the sound from the uh, toolbox. So the sound and as well as the animation I'll be using is they're both from the toolbox itself. I didn't make any, either one of those. I only made the part in the script itself. So first things first, of course, we're going to make the local script. Let's head on over to Stutter Player, open that up. Then let's insert a local script into Stutter Player Scripts. We can name this, uh, I guess we'll just go with what we've always done. Fireball script, then in parentheses, I'm gonna put local. I'm going to delete print hello world as always and then first things first of course we're going to get the user input service so local uis is equal to game get service user input service and then of course we're going to need a remote event to communicate between the client and the server so let's head on over to replicated storage and insert a remote event and then we can go ahead and name this fireball event so fireball event then we can now get the remote event so let's do local Fireball event is equal to game that replicated storage wait for child fireball event and then the last variable we need to get is the local player so let's do local player oh, player is equal to game that player that local player right now we can set up our function so let's do us that input begin colon connect function in parentheses put input and enter if input dot user input type is equal to anim dot user input type dot keyboard then if input dot key code is equal to anim dot key code for me i'm going to use f you know f for fireball but you guys can change it to whatever key you want i'm going to say f then i'm going to get the end position if you guys watched my uh how to make a basic gun tutorial you'll notice that the 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 code is very similar like the scripts are very similar just a little different since i'm not using an actual part and i'm, and I'm instead using my hand rather than like a tool so we're gonna get the end position so local end position is equal to player get mouse oh not get children get mouse dot hit that position right then i'm gonna fire the remote event so i'm gonna do fireball event fire server and of course, I'm going to send over the end position. So end position, that's off. And that's it for the local scripts. Just like that, we are done there. So nothing more to do there. You can close that script out. Then we can head on over to server script service and insert a server script. And then do the same thing we do with the local script. Fireball script, then in parentheses, put server. And there we go. All right, so we're gonna need to, of course, start off by delete, deleting print hello world. Then we're gonna need to get some variables. I'm gonna need to make about, I think like five. Well, yeah, I wanna say about five. So first, just like we did in the local script, we gotta get the remote event. So let's do local fireball event is equal to game, the replicated storage, wait for child, fireball event. Then of course, we're gonna get the actual fireball that we have in server storage that we're gonna clone over. So let's do local fireball, is equal to game dot server storage wait for child fireball then we're going to get the tween service as well as the sound service because you know tween service so we can animate the fireball traveling in the sound service so we can have a sound effect for it so do local ts is equal to game get service tween service local ss is equal to game get service sound service right and the last variable of course is going to be the fireball animation itself Let's do local fireball animation is equal to instance dot new animation. Then do fireball animation dot animation ID 
is equal to rbx asset id colon two forward slashes then get your id i would recommend using the id that i have but it's it's up to you guys though so you would then of course just paste this id right here and uh just let y'all know this this id only works for r15 so make sure you're testing it in, like with r15 or just use a different animation but yeah so after that we have finished getting all our variables then we're going to make the local function for the animation player but we're going to come back to modify it um after we finish the second function so let's do local function name it mm, animation player animation player then in parentheses we're going to do character so we're going to send over the character the animation the start position as well as the end position right we're going to do that then we're going to skip two lines and then we're going to get to the actual function where um it's being triggered based on the uh, serve the remote event being triggered and happening on the I don't know what, I'm, what my words are pretty much this is going to be the function for when the fireball event is on server so when it's received on server so fireball event on server event connect function in parentheses of course put player or plr and then end position right then the first things first we're going to get the character so let's do local character take it to player that character skip two lines then we need to do the start position so local start position is equal to character dot right hand dot position because you guys haven't seen the animation yet but the animation pretty much it it's a kind of like the characters waving their their right hand so of course we need to, we need to start from the hand that the animation is being you know played on and then we need to get the end position now I know this I know this might be a little confusing because I'm about to make the end position but this is end position it's it's a little complex but this is pretty much more so like you can say kind of like a more calculated in position while well, that's just more so the direction our mouse is in if that makes sense so let's do local end position is equal to then let's do parentheses and it's end position minus start position times and then here like i said i told you guys in the basic gun tutorial you play around with this number right you want to play around with this number i'm gonna do 100 for mine right i would recommend just you, you like you guys will understand what i'm saying when you see it so i'm gonna do 100 right and then i'm gonna trigger the animation player function because i have everything that i need to send over so animation player i can trigger it i'm gonna send over the character the animation so fireball animation start position as well as the end now make sure you do end end pos not end position end pos you pay attention to the wording right and then we're going to get the direction local direction is equal it's very similar to end position a little similar so we're going to do end position minus start position dot unit times 200 now these are my numbers like i said you guys can play around with the numbers and see whatever and see what you like see like if it looks better with you decreasing 200 or increasing 200 doesn't matter you play around with it and see what, and see what you like so then let's let's create raycast params because we're about to do a raycast so let's do local raycast params it's equal to raycast params dot new and then go to the next line raycast params oh gotta make sure okay let me reference the variable or let me just paste it actually yeah raycast params dot filter type equal to enum oh there we go enum dot filter where is it raycast filter type exclude because this is what we're going to exclude of course right because we want to exclude our player because we don't want our character any of our characters parts to be able to be hit by the ray because then we'd be able to damage ourselves unless that's what you want your game to have recast params let me sure I do the right thing then dot filter descendants in instances then do character get descendants boom just like that then we're going to create the raycast so local raycast is equal to workspace raycast start position then we have of course the direction and lastly we have the raycast params so raycast make sure you're doing the right one make sure you're referencing this it should be i guess this is like white yeah it should be white not blue right if yours looks like mine then you should be good and then we're going to do 
an if statement and we're done here and then we just got to do this function and then we are done okay so if raycast then if raycast dot instance dot parent colon this one not autofill by the way so make sure you're typing this correctly find first child humanoid then we are going to decrease their health so raycast dot instance dot parent dot humanoid dot health less than equal to and then you guys can set whatever damage value you want i'm gonna go with 10 you guys can change it to 1 20 30 whatever whatever you want and we're done with this function now we come back to the animation player which to be honest it all it plays the animation it plays the animation and handles the sound as well as plays the, the tween but i thought i thought it would all fall under the same category so yeah so first things first of course i'm going to create the animation track so local animation track is equal to character dot humanoid this one auto fill as well so make sure you type it correctly load animation of course the animation then i'm going to play the animation of course animation track play then of course i'm going to play the sound so sound service dot fireball sound effect play right then i can skip two lines then i'm going to clone the fireball so local fireball clone is equal to of course fireball clone first things first of course is to parent it to the workspace then to set the position so fireball well the starting position i should say so obviously the starting position will be of course the start position right then we're going to set the c frame so it's facing the right direction so fireball clone dot c frame is equal to i believe it's c not the character c frame dot new start position and start position plus character in this case we're using a tool so right and dot c frame dot look vector yeah there we go that should be good and then we are done with the fireball at least in terms of setting the properties now we, now we make the duration so local duration is equal to parentheses and position minus start position yeah actually nothing about it yet we've done this like three times but yeah dot magnitude this time then this time you're dividing so as i said earlier as i said multiple times in the video you guys can change this number honestly i had i already changed it when i was um testing because I, I before I had it at a thousand and then it was like it was moving too fast so i changed it to 100 but you guys can play around with whatever number you want because this is the number that pretty much determines how fast the fireball moves the lower the number the slower it goes the higher the number the faster the fireball will be or if we're using this to make another attack now let's create the tween this is the last thing we got to do just the tween then just add um the fireball clone okay i mean destroy the fireball clone let's do local fireball tween is equal to ts create and of course the instance so fireball clone then set the tween info tween info dot new of course we put duration here then nm dot easing style you guys can choose whatever works best i would recommend either doing quad or cubic and then we can set the easing direction of course out and then that's it there and then as for the property table you know special brackets then position then we're going to do position is equal to end position right or npos i should say then of course we're going to play the tween right and play and now for the last thing i actually forgot i actually forgot to make one variable but i'm not surprised though because i did because i didn't just think about this until like the last minute like right before i recorded the video okay so go go up here enter we got to get one service the debris service we're going to do local ds to go to game only get service debris service or just debris i guess right and then we're going to come down here we're going to do ds add not add tag add item then of course we're going to add the instance so fireball clone and duration this pretty much ensures that the um fireball will be destroyed upon um upon it hitting its target the duration is how long it will take for the fireball to hit an object right and this will this will ensure that it's destroyed and we don't even have to use it's not even a function well it's kind of a built-in function but we don't have to use like an actual function i should say if that makes sense but yeah all we need now is just a test dummy so let's go to avatar and then let's go to rig builder block avatar 
let's bring them right here and then we click play and let's test to see if it works all right loading in all right and then if i do f just like that it's dealing damage i think you guys can hear the sound not sure if you guys can hear it It might be a little low but yeah as you guys can see the direction of my mouth my mouse is going in that's the direction the fireball goes in and this is the animation and the fireball as you guys can see it's like coming out of my right hand then it deals damage and then i can keep going until i kill the player or the npc i guess in this case but yeah that's how you make a basic fireball attack if you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to don't forget to leave a like subscribe if you guys want access to this model i have the entire model available to channel members you guys can become a channel member by clicking join next to the subscribe button or if you just want the script in general you can also just become a channel member and you can just get the script it doesn't matter whatever whatever you want thank you guys for showing all the, showing love on all my videos i appreciate it yeah i'll see you guys in the next video